Hi, everyone. Um, so this project was a, a part of my uh, thesis project uh, at McGill, and we all know how much we like to talk about our uh, thesis projects, so thank you for indulging me. Uh, this is the, uh, the Welland Canal constructed in 1923. Uh, it climbs the Niagara Escarpment, and it connects Lake Ontario with Lake Erie. There were three previous iterations of the canal constructed in the 19th century. These are some of the locks of the third canal constructed in 1881. They're in a constant state of disrepair, are largely fenced off, polluted, and inaccessible. My project is to re-engage this 19th century infrastructure project with the community by creating a museum park system along a portion of the third Welland Canal. A series of museum pavilions would interact with the locks in various ways and tell this incredible story of this nation building infrastructure project. The park would create a loop connecting the St. Catharines Museum, the historic uh, Third Welland Canal, the Thorold Museum, and the current Welland Canal. This proposal is an example of a way to reintegrate existing culturally embodied infrastructure with its community in a productive way. The path connecting the pavilions becomes a part of the exhibition in its own right taking you inside, beside, and on top of the locks at different moments. The first pavilion is titled Ingenuity, and it tells the story of the engineering triumphs of the canal's construction. It sits on either side of Lock 16 and bridges over it. Its design was inspired by the construction photos and documentation, which include enormous scaffold structures. This pavilion would exhibit drawings and models of the locks and the inventive machines used to construct them. The next pavilion sits inside Lock 17 and is much more somber. This pavilion is dedicated to the workers who died building the canals. 124 people died building the fourth canal, and it's undocumented how many workers died building the first three canals. The design was inspired by photographs of 19th century shipbuilding within dry docks. Inside, a photo gallery exhibits the stories of the large immigrant populations who risked their lives in the construction in hopes of a better future in Canada. The final pavilion is at Lock 24 of the Third Canal and Lock 7 of the current canal. An observation tower that was inspired by numerous 1930s lift bridges that span the canal. From up here, you can see the cascading locks down to Lake Ontario and observe the ships climb this great Canadian staircase into the interior of the continent. Grand infrastructure projects often take a profound toll to build. These incredible costs create lasting effects throughout the communities. If left to decay, they often become eyesores and forgotten scars on the landscape. There are opportunities to celebrate these incredible projects and reintegrate them into our communities, to tell their stories, both proud and tragic, and celebrate our history. Thanks. <laughs>